Hi everybody and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a warm, smoky, brown matte look. So let's get started. So I have already done my eyebrows. Very tragic today. Don't want to talk about it. So I am going to be doing a very matte look today. This is more of a mood than anything else. So I'm going to start with my face and I'm going to just put on some primer. This is the Tatcha Primer. And my face has been moisturized and everything like that. And um, of course you really need to do that even in the winter. Moisturize, sunscreen, all of your regular skincare. Okay, so since I don't want to be glowy and dewy, I really want to carry the matte look all over, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my makeup in reverse, or I'm going to do it backwards. I am using my Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury as my primer. I'm just putting this in um, areas where I want just a little bit more of a glow. So I'm just putting this on. I'm not slathering it all over my face, just on certain areas where I think I need a little bit of help. And now I'm going to put on my concealer. The concealer I'm using today is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, and this is in the shade Warm Sand. And I'm actually just going over all of my problem areas here. Just doing a little bit of color correcting without using a color corrector. I'm just going to go in with my bigger brush and just blend this all in. Okay, so I have my concealer on my face and now I'm going to do a little bronzing. Yes, I'm going to bronze first. Like I said, I am doing this totally in reverse and the bronzer that I'm using is my Black Radiance, my Black Radiance um, bronzer and this is in Ginger Snap. I've used this a lot. I really, really like it and I like to use it as a blush as well. And I'm just gonna take that all over. But I'm definitely going to focus this on my cheeks. And I'm going a little bit more heavy handed than I typically would because I'm gonna go over this with foundation. And I saw Mariah Leonard do this and it was crazy because this is something that I used to do all the time and I'm actually kind of glad that this is kind of coming back into fashion, a more muted makeup look. You can still do go through all of your steps, but you kind of want to, if you want to mute anything that you're wearing, if you put on too much bronzer or too much blush, this is an excellent, excellent technique to kind of correct that. Because I do like bronzers and I do like love blushes. I love blushes, but sometimes I just feel like it's too much and I wanna to tone it down just a little bit. I'm gonna be using my NYX Highlight and Contour Palette here. And I'm gonna be going in with this shade and I'm gonna bronze with that. And I'm gonna put that right on top. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a good thing I am going in with foundation last because whoo. That could have been a disaster. So my face is super warm now and I have over contoured and over bronzed as you can see. Now I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the color 330. This is matte. And I do try not to wear matte during this winter. So I was gonna say summer. I do try not to wear matte foundations during the winter, but I'm making an exception. And I'm just gonna take it on a beauty sponge and I'm going to go over the areas that I just 
dip and I'm just going to tone all of that down. And if I use too much, I can just go back in later and just kind of um, go over it again with a more bronzer or blush or whatever it is that I need. But so the point is to do all of your makeup <laughs> and go on top of it with foundation to kind of make everything look a little bit more natural and muted. And I just love that approach. Okay. So I can see the bronze coming through. I think I did it a little bit overboard with the foundation. So I'm definitely gonna have to go through, but I'm gonna let it sit and dry. And then once it dries down, I'm going to go back and touch up any areas that I need to. So now I'm going to start with my eyes. And I'm gonna be using my Pat McGrath palette here. Let's see. Let's go in with this color right here at the bottom, the light chocolatey brown, and I'm going to put that all over. Well, before I start, right here, and I'm going to put this all over my lid. All over. With the same brush, I'm going to tap right into this dark color right here and I'm gonna put this into my crease. Now I'm gonna use a flat brush flat shader brush and I'm gonna go back in with that same brown color and I'm gonna put it all over my lid. And then I'm going to tap this right on the edge and I'm going to bring this up into my crease area right here. So I do have folds in my lids which makes crease definition very very difficult I do the best that I can um, I do have to kind of create my own crease and I'm gonna go back in with my fluffy brush and just kind of blend that so that there's no harsh lines What is this, an edge brush? I can't remember what it's called, but I'm going to do the bottom lash line. Now I'm gonna take my cake liner. This is my NYX Cake That Powder Eyeliner. I feel like I have to explain this in every video. I do have lash extensions, so I can't use regular eyeliner right now. I just take cake liner and I use that instead of regular. I'm gonna clean up my under eye a little bit because I overdid it with the shadow, which I do sometimes. The Pat McGrath palette doesn't have any light shades that I can use to highlight that aren't glittery and I really don't want to introduce glitter to this look. So I'm gonna go back into my NYX palette and I'm going to just use one of the lighter shades and just add a little bit of a highlight right there at the top. I don't want it to look flat. Yeah, I think that's okay. Just a little bit of lightness there. Just because something is matte doesn't mean that it needs to be lifeless, that it can't have any dimension. I'm going to brush out my lashes and I am going to put some mascara on my lower lashes. I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Lash Discovery. This is for our bottom lashes. 
So we're done with the eyes and now I'm going to go back and just bronze a little bit more. And now I'm gonna go in with my Physicians Formula Bronzer. This is not much of a bronzer, it is literally my exact shade. So I actually have been using it as a setting powder and I really, I really, really like it as a setting powder. I'm gonna use my big e.l.f. face brush and just swirl that in and go over my whole face. And now finally lips, I'm gonna stick with theme and we're gonna go with a brown lip. I think I'm going to use my MAC lip liner in the color cork. Not sure which lip I want to do today. Let's do Fenty. I'm going to be using this Stunner lip paint in a um, button. So I'm not really sure how I feel about the lip. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a little torn on this particular Fenty Stunna Lip Paint. I do like the red. I do have to jump through some hoops to get it to work for my lips because I have very, very um, dry and lined lips, so I just can't go full out matte. Um, I find the Fenty Lip Paint a little bit drying on me and the color is beautiful, and I know that it's a nude, so it's supposed to be kind of um, blending right in with my skin. So, I don't know, I, I it, it might grow on me. <laughs> it might grow on me. I am a gloss girl, but, but I'm not gonna put on any gloss because this is a matte look. Okay, okay guys, so this is the finished look. Um, I really like it, um, but I just really wanted to show other beginners like me how to do a very basic, very simple um, eyeshadow look. The Stunna lip paint, I am still, <laughs> I'm still on the fence about. It's beautiful. The more I sit and I, I look at it, the more I really, really like it. I don't know. I think that the red looks way better on me. I don't know. Maybe it's just I'm not used to wearing nude makeup. That's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this really quick and really simple tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.